Hello, and welcome to the first video tutorial for Astronomer. Astronomer is a non-circular planetary gear search and discovery tool. This is a capability not featured in any other available gear software. Very few people have been able to successfully design non-circular planetary gears because they are very complicated and they have a lot of constraints. Virtually every design you create using Astronomer will be a type of gear mechanism that no one has seen before. This is going to be a three or four part video uh, tutorial series. Um, the first tutorial is going to be sort of a quick start guide just to get you up and running quickly without too much information. The second one I will go into a bit more detail about the options, um, the parameters, the settings, the freedom of design that you have. The third tutorial, and this is important, um, will show you how to uh, set your accuracy settings high enough to actually build a physical model. Since Astronomer is a search engine, I have the accuracy settings turned down low by default. The reason for this is it makes the searching much faster. But when you want uh, an accurate design to be built into a physical model, you do need to turn up the accuracy settings um, to make it suitable to, to build. Alright, so I'm going to get started. As before with the rest of Gearify, uh, you still use the same uh, gear design methods, the same gear design options. Um, you can use the free draw, for example, and just create an arbitrary gear uh, of your liking. Let me turn down the number of teeth a little bit. This will make things a bit faster and it'll also look better. Um, let me make something with a bit more uh, symmetry. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to click on the Astronomer tab. And all I'm going to do is draw a line across the gear. It takes four clicks. I draw a nice curve spanning the interior of the gear from side to side. And then I click search, and you see a graph being generated. Once the graph is done, you can see I can mouse over these intersection points, click on an intersection, and click calculate planetary gears. And within just a few moments, you'll see a planetary gear mechanism completed. It's currently calculating the ring gear, which is the outer gear. And now it's calculating the sun gear. Alright, that was pretty easy. And there we have a nice planetary gear mechanism. You can change the rotation style and see it display in a, in a few different cool ways. Okay. So let me just go back here and just explain just a little bit what's happening here. With the rest of Gearify, the center of rotation of the gear is wherever you place it. In this case, the center of rotation would be right in the middle. With Astronomer, however, you have to offer some flexibility in terms of where you place the center of rotation for your planet gear, or the gear that you design. So before, the center of rotation would be right there. But what you have to do here is say, okay, you can place the center of rotation anywhere along this curve that I'm creating. By the way, it takes four clicks to place the curve because it is a, it's a cubic bezier curve, so you have to drop four points. You can right click at any time to erase your curve and start drawing it again. But you need four clicks. One, two, three, four. And this is just a set of points that Astronomer is free to move the center of rotation along in order to search and find a specific location to place the center of rotation where all the conditions and constraints are satisfied and you can create planetary gear. 
So as you search, you can see there's a small dot that's being traced out along this. It's testing the center of rotation along these different points, and it's finding specific areas where planetary cares are possible. The exact meaning of this graph will be more apparent uh, in the next tutorial. But for now, all you need to understand is, you know, you just draw a line across this thing. You say search. You click the intersections, and then you calculate. Let's try it with a different gear. I'm going to design a gear using the image design mode. Alright, I'm going to give you an offset of negative 4. This is just the standard uh, image design method, which is part of, uh, just part of Gearify. Nothing new. Alright, I'm going to draw my curve. Notice when you change to the Astronomer tab, it is aware of whatever your most recent design uh, gear design is. For example, if I went here and I change back to this design mode, I come in here, it's like, okay, that one's the current one. But if I go back to my image, this is the current one. It just knows whichever one is current. Anyway, again, we draw our center of rotation curve. Let's say search. I can pick this one, or I can pick that one. Oh, I think I'll go with this one. And our new planetary gear should be ready in just a sec. Okay. And there we are. Add some textures. Remember, whenever you're viewing stuff, you can double click to zoom in, right click to zoom out, uh, drag to pan, and you can always press, after clicking on the uh, display area, you can press Z to do zoom all. Just a little reminder. Alright, so what you're probably wondering now is, okay, we got this sort of triangular shape and we have like these three planetary gears. Well, what if we want four planetary gears? Um, or five, or six, or so on. Uh, this will be explained in more detail in the next tutorial, but for now, just as a quick answer, change the, let's say we want a, um, a planetary gear mechanism with four planet gears which is a common uh, thing you can e fairly easily find without too much trouble. So just mimic what I did here. I changed numerator to multiples of 4, external from 4 to 4, internal from 8 to 8. Don't worry about what this means, just mimic what I do for now. Search. Okay. I'm going to uh, click this one and create. And in a second, we'll have our new planetary gear. And it'll have four planets inside. ready. Okay, and there we go. Looks pretty good. So lastly, before I end this tutorial, if you are uncertain about how to proceed with Astronomer, I threw in some, uh, some simple tips into the software. Let me just reopen... Um, Reopen Gearify. 
So let's say you just go into the Astronomer tab and you don't know what you're doing. You're going to say, I just want to start searching. It's going to tell you, you must provide initial gear design. Go to the Design tab and design a gear first. Okay. I'm going to have a simple gear come back. I'm going to say search. It will tell you, you must first draw a curve representing the possible centers of rotation in the variable known gear window above. Click four points to complete a curve. So it's sort of walking you through. Okay, I'm going to click on the, three, the four points. And now, suppose I click calculate planning, planetary gear before I'm supposed to. It says you must select an intersection before you may calculate a gear. Find intersections through search. Okay, so I'm going to click search. Alright, we've got some intersections now. Again, suppose I'm a naive user. I click calculate planetary gear. You must select an intersection before you calculate a gear. Again, find intersections through search. Okay, so it's telling you select an intersection. And now, now it's okay. Now it's not complaining. So, if you're not sure what to do, you can just kind of click on those points, uh, on those buttons arbitrarily, um, and it will give you advice on what to do. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the first tutorial, and I hope that, um, you know, you'll be creating planetary gears fairly quickly. Um, stay tuned for the next couple tutorials to get uh, a sense of... Um, you know, what your what your full level of cu customization uh, and freedom of design is. All right, thanks for thanks for watching.